that he was not concerned about the Kremlin's election interference because he claimed the United States did the same thing in other countries. 美国总统川普的电话门事件持续燃烧。现在金报他早在二零一七年就接见俄国外长和当时俄罗斯驻美大使，还说出不介意俄罗斯介入二零一六美国总统大选，吓得白宫官员拼命要把这段对话放进最高机密。We would like to hope that in our bilateral relations. Where we are already having a lot of serious problems, we will not see this situation happen. 俄罗斯不想要看到的还有外界施压，要求白宫公布川普和乌克兰总统泽伦斯基的对话记录。川普拜托乌克兰调查选举对手案底的事件不断节外生枝，简直有如二零一九年版的水门案。We're in a war. These people are sick. They're sick. And nobody's called it out like I do. I don't understand. People are afraid to call it out. They're afraid to say that the press is crooked. 川普炮火全开环集，但主动揭发电话门的吹哨者报告中提到美国驻乌克兰特使请辞。这位特使曾经安排川普私人律师朱利安尼和乌克兰高级官员会面，而前者正面临委员会调查。They basically knew everything I was doing. So it was being done with the authorization and at the request, and then I have a final one in which they there's a big thank you about how my honest and straightforward discussion led to solving a problem in the relationship. I think I should get some kind of an award. 整起事件的关键人物吹哨者到底是谁？没人知道。川普已经气到在推特上大骂，表示吹哨者拿到的都是二手资讯。Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff says his committee could begin hearings as soon as next week. With a vote on impeachment possible, possible by Thanksgiving. But Trump 身边的幕僚担心不是没有理由，毕竟接连爆出来的消息一个比一个严重。民主党议员早就抹刀霍霍，还向国务卿蓬佩奥发出传票，要求交出乌克兰相关文件。这恐怕将会是川普距离总统弹劾最近的一次。三新闻，中考报道。